Ooh, would you rather run an AR-47 or an AR-57? I've run both. I'm going to need you to clarify the difference. So an AR-47 yeah. is like an M4 that runs AK. It's like the Trident. The Trident ones, yeah. the Mutant, anything what's, what's else. An the, AR-57 yeah, 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 is an M4. Uh, the, the real steel version has a P90 mag that goes on the top and it ejects the shells out of the magwell. Oh, it's the sneaky, sneaky... Yes. Yeah. So your limitation yeah. with the AR-57 is it's P90 mags. Awesome. Which you're a fan of. Awesome. Uh, but you've got no, almost no real estate on top for optics. You've basically got a little bit of the front and a little bit of the back. So if you want an optic... Yeah. I would go with the AR-57. Really? Yeah. I'd go with the AR-47. I hate the look of them. I hate Maybe them. Maybe they look, hate the look of you. you. Probably do, but I'm not asking them to run around with holding me for a day. Um, Airsoft, definitely AR-47. Real steel, I'd love to shoot an AR-57. It's just the fact that it's sneaky, sneaky clean. It's super clean. It polices, You can put an empty mag yeah, on the bottom. It polices all your, its own yeah, brass. Yeah. Subsonic 5.7 rounds are probably very expensive, but hilariously quiet. Um, there's a few videos out there and all you can hear is the hammer drop, but it's firing off. Um, and your bonus, I will give props to the AR-57 um, real steel again. It has a higher round count than probably the 47. The, you've got 50 round mags on the P90 mags, whereas yeah. the 47 is going to be 28 plus one or whatever it is. 